traffic lights is one of the most popular experiments because it is counterintuitive and involves multiple color changes. It's not always a success because that depends on several factors like oxygen availability, concentrations of reactants and temperature. Here you'll see a protocol that never fails. First, we prepare a 0.04% indigo carmine solution. Indigo carmine is a food dye and both an acid base and redox indicator. Then we prepare a 12% weight per volume glucose solution. Glucose is a reducing agent that favors conversion of indigo carmine to its reduced yellow form. This reaction takes place in alkaline conditions. Therefore, we prepare a 3% sodium hydroxide solution. This solution must be heated at between 50 and 55 Celsius to optimize the time periods between color changes later on. Now, let's prepare the reaction. 40 ml of indigo carmine solution followed by 140 ml of sodium hydroxide. Indicator becomes green in such a high pH. Then, 20 ml of glucose solution are added. Initially, nothing seems to happen. But then, the mixture becomes red and soon yellow. Shaking the solution, it turns red. And with more vigorous shaking, it becomes green. If left undisturbed, color changes follow the reverse order. With this protocol, the sequence can be repeated again and again. But how is this possible? Shaking introduces new oxygen molecules in the reaction, favoring equilibrium shift to the red indicator form. Vigorous shaking adds more oxygen, and equilibrium shifts even more to the green indicator form. When agitation ends, oxygen is consumed, and equilibrium shifts to the left again. For the end, I tried some twisted versions of the traffic lights. If you come up with something interesting, please write it in the comment section.